Joanna from Nesting Story, and today I wanted to share my skincare routine with you. I actually get a lot of questions about my skin and what I do, and I've really overhauled my skincare routine over the last year. I don't know if you remember, if you saw the q and I did about a year ago, and someone asked what my skincare routine was, and I had to admit, I didn't have one. What is your skincare routine? You always have amazing skin that looks smooth even without makeup. Um, I'm really terrible. I'm gonna tell you guys something, and you're gonna be like, ugh. I almost never wash my makeup at the end of the day. I sleep with my makeup on. It's so bad. It's so bad, I know. I had zero skincare routine other than maybe using um, a face wash that I would get at a local drugstore and just scrub my face once a day and I would often go to bed with makeup on. Now, that habit, I have to admit, I have not 100% broken that habit. Um, I'd say I'm like 50% there. There's just some days with four kids and everything that my head hits the pillow and I sleep with my makeup on. I'm working on it. But I just wanted to share with you today what I've been doing and something I found out last year when I started to figure all this skin stuff out. So, first of all, I want to say that I recommend everyone goes and sees a dermatologist, especially someone of my age. I'm 36 years old and I'm starting to see some different things happening with my skin, things happening after I had kids, and they can really give you answers instead of just kind of blindly trying to figure things out in the dark because I had no idea where to start. So I began seeing ICLS in Oakville years back, um, actually about my thyroid scar to see if I could have it revised. Um, my The doctor who did the C-section for my twins is best friends with one of the owners there and she recommended it. So although we decided not to do anything with my scar, partly because it's my type of skin and there was a really good chance it would just scar the same way. You know what, I have made peace with my scar and it's a part of me and um, so I've just decided that I'm leaving my scar. But I've stuck with ICLS because they've been able to help me with other areas. Now, everything I'm showing you from them, um, they did gift to me today and at the end, because some of these items are a bit pricier, I will share what my one top item would be if you were just able to splurge on one thing. So when we started to explore what was going on with my skin, I had noticed that I had some blotchy spots on my face. And so I thought it was one of two things. I thought either I was getting age spots or it was like my makeup was staining my cheekbones and I was noticing some other patchy spots. So I went to ICLS and I was like, can we deal with this? And they were able to use machine to kind of take this interesting x-ray looking thing <laughs> my face and we discovered that I actually had melasma which is otherwise known as pregnancy mask and it's something that just creates darker pigmentation in certain areas of, of your face and it was most likely that pregnancy caused it and that was why I was seeing discoloration on my face so we knew what we needed to tackle. The other thing I was having, which I have not had as nearly as much in the last year, was a lot of acne through here. Um, I don't tend to get a lot of breakouts. I do sometimes with my cycle, but um, that was a trouble spot for me. Another thing that I also love is getting a good spray tan. I have Tanya who does tan on the run. She comes to my house. She sets up the tent here and I love getting those. I don't get them too often, but I just felt like I needed a little bit of an oomph lately. Um, I I'm very prone to dark circles under my eyes. It's partly because as you get older, this part sinks in and then my cheekbones stand out. So I have had it suggested to me that I could get fillers here, but I am not ready to go down that road at least yet. And so I have some great makeup that I do use, but I also find a nice spray tan can just bring me back to life a little bit. Um, it's water-based, it's organic, I love it. So that's something that I get done every once in a while. Okay, let me walk you through my skincare routine now. In the mornings, I just wash my face with my hands. I use the SkinCeutical Soothing Cleanser Foam. It is really great. It, it works really well on my skin. My skin can sometimes be a little bit sensitive and I found it's just fantastic. In the evenings when I am going all out with my skincare routine, I would use the Clear Sonic brush. And I use that with the same cleanser and then while my face is wet, I add the Universe Skin Serum that was specially formulated for me by ICLS to help with melasma and I will just rub it onto my skin with my skin wet and then let it air dry and that's 
what has been helping clear up my melasma over the last year. Another great trick to, if you're feeling really lazy, is sometimes I'll skip all of that and I will use some Aveeno wipes to just wipe off my makeup, splash some water on my face, mix it up with the serum, and off I go to bed. So on days that my skin is really dry, I'll use the SkinCeuticals Triple Lipid Restore 242. It's an anti-aging treatment. This moisturizer doesn't make me break out and it just really does the job. Another item I use is an eye cream. This is something I don't use every day. It's the Lumiere Reach Bio Restorative eye balm again it's anti-aging it just moisturizes I can actually tend to have really dry areas around my eyes so this is also a great product once I've washed my face in the morning I'll put on the Vivier radiant serum it's an anti-aging and skin brightening serum after that I'll put on the SkinCeuticals physical fusion UV defense now this is an SPF 50 it's broad spectrum and it actually has a tinted color it's like a skin tone color remember how i said if you could splurge for one product this would be it uh, this is my all-time favorite i used to be really bad about putting sunscreen on daily and partly was because a lot of face sunscreens are white and they give you that chalky look and it would drive me crazy the fact that this one is tinted is amazing this is hands down my favorite product at evolve and then after that i head into my makeup routine I really love it. I've noticed a really big difference. Let's see if we can get a really good close up here. I've noticed a really big difference with my skin. I've noticed everything evening out. The melasma has been disappearing here and on my cheekbones. I've noticed less blackheads. I just find everything, it just makes my face brighter and now I feel like I have some direction with my skincare routine. And I feel like I'm not alone in the process. This was something I just like could not figure out and I didn't want to just start randomly getting anything. So what I would do, what I would suggest if you have also have no skincare routine, Find a dermatologist that works for you. Have them let you know what is going on with your skin. It may totally surprise you like it did with me. And like I said before, I know some of these things can be add up and be pricey. So I would maybe keep in mind what would be the biggest bang for your buck or something that would really help you. You can always kind of piece it together and make your skincare work for you. But again, start with a dermatologist. You want to know what you're working with and then go from there. So I used to do face masks and things like that years ago and I have not gone down that road. So I want to know from you, what are your favorite face masks that actually are really good for your skin? And is there any homemade ones I should try? Is there anything else I'm missing that you love that you're kind of shocked that I don't do? I'm still trying to learn and I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love for you to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!